Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO Unbroken Bonds video. In today's Unbroken Bonds video, guys, we're looking at one of the most interesting rogues that is coming out of Unbroken Bonds. This is going to be Stunfisk with Spirit Tomb. Um, basically, the idea of the deck is you want to use Electric Trap, which does 30 damage times the amount of damage or for each Pokemon that has a damage counter on it. Spirit Tomb's ability, Building Spite, puts a damage counter on it for free. And uh, with cards like Damage Mover, Rainbow Energy, you can move all this damage. You can fill up your bench with damage counters. Um, and Electric Trap can actually hit some pretty good numbers. It can take down some pretty big threats. Uh, you are really weak to stuff like Weezing and Mew. Unfortunately, Weezing is like everywhere on PCGO right now. Um, so it is tough. But outside of that, this deck can take down tag teams and GX decks pretty well, I would like to say. Um, yeah, before we end this PCGO video, guys, of course, shout out to the sponsor, Card Cover TCG. If you're ever looking for any PCGO codes or anything, whether it be packs like Unbroken Bonds packs, if you're looking for Trainer Kit codes, uh, GX box codes like Flareon or Vaporeon or Jolteon boxes, or you're looking for any other PDCGO code related stuff, or even any other Pokemon training card game related stuff, you can get them over at Card Cavern TCG. When you do end up purchasing something from Card Cavern, if you put in the discount code, code LDF, you get a 5% discount on the order. So yeah, if you're looking for PDCGO codes, get them over at Card Cavern TCG. So yeah, shout out to them. Uh, awesome. So now let's look at the list and the deck. So it's a very interesting deck. A bit of a clumsy deck because you're using very low HP Pokemon. And again, you are weak to stuff like Psy Power with Mew. You're also very weak to Weezing, which is a problem. And again, I've said before, Weezing is very popular on PCGO right now. It's very, very annoying. Um, but outside of that, Electric Trap can do good numbers. Uh, so you're doing 30 damage for each of your Pokemon with damage counters on it. Not times the amount of damage counters. That would be really busted if it was like times the amount of damage counters. Um, but... This does count on your active too. So if you have a full board of damage counters, Electric Trap is doing 180 damage and you're doing a lot of good things with that. 180 damage is pretty strong. And um, the way we're going to build that up is with Building Spite, which allows you to put a damage counter on Spirit Tomb in between turns or in between turns, every turn, sorry. Um, and Spirit Tomb can actually attack Anguish Quai. Angu I cannot talk today. Anguish, Anguish Cry. Um, my English is trash. Uh, does 10 plus 30 more damage for each damage counter on this Pokemon. If you have 5 damage counters on this thing, it does 160. Uh, so you can use counter energy with this. You can't use rainbow energy with Spirit Tomb if you do that route. But if you have at least 4 damage counters on Spirit Tomb, your numbers look a bit better. We do have one special card in this deck to help us out too. And that's going to be Hustle Belt. Hustle Belt um, allows you uh, to put this on a Pokemon with 30 remaining HP or less. So this can go on Spirit Tomb with 3 building spites that have put on it or two in a rainbow energy and you can do 60 more damage to your opponent's active pokemon so then spirit tomb is all of a sudden hitting higher numbers so spirit tomb can be a really good backup attacker too and again stunfisk has the support of electro power to do extra damage with electric trap which is pretty good and we have some other pokemon here we are playing some ultra beasts i got cartana in the deck with big cut if you have exactly four prize remaining you can do 130 which is good numbers and you are a non jx Pokemon with a Spirit Tree cost. And we also are playing Sledgehammer and Buzzwool. We have Rainbow Energy in the deck. We could do Sledgehammer against Picarom to take a one shot on it in between when we get that Sledgehammer turn. Or we can build up a Swing Around because we are playing one copy of Counter Energy. Um, I am playing one Mew. Again, we do need to be careful for stuff like Flying Flip. <coughs> Weezing's <coughs> attack, Splattering Sludge, can also hit your bench. The ability goes to your bench. Um, you unfortunately cannot prevent stuff like alternate cross and sketch scorch and light either or mew's own attack but mew is still very important in this deck to protect your bench and i got two copies of jirachi for stellar wish to kind of help us set up and that's all the pokemon we got going into the items now a lot of important ones i am playing only two damage movers um i was thinking about running three i've seen a lot of lists just go heavy with four of these i'm only going with two uh again with rainbow energy and even your first attack of raging thunder it's still easy to get damage around the board anyways um and i'm not too concerned about playing any more than two of these I got three Electro Powers to be able to use it with Stun Fist, Rage, Electric Trap, and Raging Thunder. Raging Thunder Electro Power can one-shot a Zapdos. Electric Trap Electro Power is a very good combo too. I am playing one Energy Lotto. We only play nine Energy. We got four DCEs, four Rainbows, and a Counter Energy. So Energy Lotto helps us find our Energy with Stellar Wish. I got four Nest Balls to put our Basics down. Very, very important to get your Spirit Tombs in play along with four Ultra Balls. I am only playing two Stretchers. Technically, it might be better to go with just one Stretcher. I've gone with two though, because Spirit Tomb does always have a target on his head in this type of a deck. Um, so just being able to get those back is good. Two switches for like Jirachi. Um, now my stadium choice is interesting. I've gone with two Shrine, very important for extra numbers. You can also play Shrine with a GX if you want to run like a Lele or a Dedene or a Buzzmos in this deck. Um, so you can get extra damage on the board that way. That could work. Um, but the Black Market is also in here for some good reasons. Because Black Market with Spirit Tomb and Rainbow Energy means Spirit Tomb will not... 
will not give up prize when it gets KO'd, so that is very crucial. So that's why Black Market Spirit Tomb is a good combo. Going to supporters, pretty standard stuff for Cynthia, for Lily, one Erica, two Guzma. I do kind of wish I could bump the Guzma lineup, but I'm, I'm going with the two Guzmas. Uh, now, I got a lot of tools in here. I got three different tools. I got two Choice Bands. I got two Hustle Belts. Again, Hustle Belt, really good with Spirit Tomb here to be able to hit high numbers. And uh, I got two Skateboards in the deck, two, which can almost send. You can do some other cool things with Damage Mover and Hustle Belt. If you want to move damage onto, like, Kartana, uh, Kartana can then do bigger damage with Big Cut. You can also do this with Buzzwool if somehow you pull that off. And going to the, uh, yeah, energy. Just four rainbow, four DCs, one counter energy. Counter energy is really good. Again, weak Pokemon. You're giving, you might give up a prize early on if you do you get access to counter energy. You can use counter energy for swing around. You can also use this as like kind of like your fifth energy. You can also use counter energy and five damage counters on your spirit tomb. So you have options with counter energy. And uh, yeah, that's it for the list here. Um, so yeah, let's go try the deck on PCGO and see how we do and hopefully avoid wheezing. All right, guys, let's go do some games now with some Stunfist Spirit Tomb. Uh, in testing the deck, I made a pretty big oopsie because I thought that Thunder Mountain applied for Raging Thunder. It turns out it doesn't. Um, doesn't It doesn't work for uh, Stunfist's attacks. So, yeah, may or may not have lost a game because of that in my testing. Um, but hopefully everything goes well. Um, really, as long as we avoid matchups like Weezing, I mean, the deck can win games. The deck can win games because you just don't want to see Weezing because Weezing you can't really beat because Weezing spreads too much damage on the board. It's hard. Uh, we're up against a fairy deck. This might be Guardian and ah, my fears have come true. It is indeed a Gardevoir Sylveon deck. This is a pretty bad matchup, I would like to say. I mean, this might be a really bad matchup for us. Um... Okay, what do I want to do here? I don't really need to play the Mew down. I do want to Ultra Ball, though. I don't want to get rid of anything in my hand. I think we just Cynthia. I was thinking of playing the Mew down, but I'll just do the Cynthia. Okay, we got the Drachi back. Um, so I can Rainbow Energy now. I think I'd rather save it. I was looking for maybe like Kartana or Buzzle there. Um, I'm not really trying to put the Mew down, but I can put the Rainbow Energy on it. Get some extra damage on the board for Electric Trap. I mean, if we can swing my opponent hard every single turn, maybe we can keep up, like, an okay amount of pressure. Like, maybe. There's, like, a, a slight chance we can maybe keep up some pressure here with the Electric Trap. But yeah, I tried to do Electric Trap with Thunder Mountain. Turns out it doesn't work. Cost me a game. Made an oopsie. I was like, oh my gosh, the game glitched on me, and then I found out Thunder Mountain doesn't work with uh, Callus Lightning type attacks. So, yeah, big oopsie. Uh, this matchup is pretty bad, though. I don't know, man. This is not going to be good. This is going to be kind of hard. If we had uh, Celesteela in the deck, I mean, yeah, we would win because we could just knock him out with, with Moonraker. But we don't have Celesteela in this deck. We did not put it in this list. Um, we'll see how we do, though. I think, oh, my opponent actually just immediately concedes. Well, then, uh, we don't even have to try the game. We just get the free win out of the book. I'll take it. Might get the Plasma Storm pack by the end of this video, so we can open that up for you guys. All right, I'll take a free win any day of the week. I'm not going to complain there. That's pretty good. My matchup would have been tough. Like, we can hit him for, like, a good chunk of damage every single turn, but with all the healing he has, like, how do we keep up? Like, the best thing I was thinking of is, like, maybe Spear Tomb with Hustle Belt can, like, put like a solid chunk of damage on my opponent that's like the only thing i was thinking about there uh we're up against it looks like reshizard this could be a charizard deck too i hope it's reshizard though reshizard i think is one of our better matchups like tag team decks this deck wants to play against uh we do get a jirachi stunfist start uh, not the best starting hand in terms of getting down a lot of stuff i'd rather not have erica but we can stellar wish into a lily maybe We'll see if this is going to be Reshizard or not. It could be Balcephalon, which it is, which I'm fine with. I think we could be Blounds GX. Blounds is pretty good, I would say. We can one-shot Balcephalon fairly easily. There's a Hustle Bell. So this matchup, I think, is fine. Uh, we'll see how we do. My opponent's actually going to give me an Ultra Space, so I can use this to get Kartana or Buzzwool. Kartana is pretty useful. It can do 130 damage, which can one-shot Naganadels. But yeah, I think this is a pretty fair matchup for us. 
Especially because it's very easy to one-shot Bolcephalon every single turn. Alright, there's an Ultra Ball. My opponent can get the Blounds GX. So if they go into the Bolcephalon here, what we can do... Maybe go into Electric Trap. Try and, like, get a nice chunk of damage on him. Maybe get a Shrine down. Make it stick. Okay, what we'll do is we'll Nest Ball for Spirit Tomb. We'll do all this stuff before we do Stellar Wish. So that we can try and find ourselves... Um, try and find ourselves a Lily here. Or a Cynthia. Uh, I could Ultra Ball. To be honest though, I don't want to get rid of anything. Maybe the Hustle Belt. The Hustle Belt I can get rid of. But again, Hustle Belt Spirit Tomb is really good. And we got a Cynthia. We will take that. Uh, now we need to switch out. And uh, if we can knock out the uh, Whipple here, that'd be pretty good. I think what we'll do is we'll Ultra Ball away Stretcher. And I guess we can get rid of the Erica. I guess we can get rid of Hustle Belt. Yeah, that's fine. I'd rather keep my supporters. We'll get another Stun Fist down. Or another uh, Spirit Tomb, sorry. Let's see if we can get a Escape Rope or a Switch to knock him out. We do not, unfortunately. We do not quite get there. We can Nest Ball for probably just another Spirit Tomb. If we get Stun Fist next turn, we have another Nest Ball. I'd rather, again, just establish more uh, building spites. So not great. We didn't get anything good up the Cynthia there that helped us out too much. But, uh, Stunfist might just go down here to a Guzma potentially if he has the ability to do that. We'll see though. I'm fine with losing Jachi. He might just go for like a Burst GX too. Just to take a prize. We'll see though. I think this is a good matchup though. Especially because Spirit Tomb can one shot with Cephalon. Anything that's like in range of like 180 HP to like 200 HP is pretty reasonable for Stunfist to deal with. Um, if you, like, tag teams you can beat too because you just put so much damage on them and you're only giving them one prize. Like, it's hard for tag teams to keep up with this deck. So, yeah. But yeah, it's pato it's potassable. That's not even a word. It's potentially possible to knock up a Cephalon here. If we can get damage mover, rainbow energy. We have the electro power. So it's possible to knock up the Blown. Uh, my opponent might just knock me out with turning point. No, they can't. Never mind. Psychic resistance for the win. I think they're just gonna go burst here, just take a prize. But if they're going to Bolcephalon, it's possible to just knock it out with Raging Thunder. Which it looks like they're going to do. So we're really looking for a switching card for Stellar Wish. If not, I can Rainbow Energy Retreat. That's actually not a terrible option either. We still get damage on him. Another Lily. That's a yikes. Building Spite. Not try to play the black market down now. I'd rather reserve it for Shrine. Will Lily for two? I'd always rather just get a Cynthia here. Yeah, give me that Cynthia. I'd rather just do a Cynthia. I, I might just play the black market just to thin it, but no, that's just not. I don't want to play that black market down. Not happening. Uh, no switching card again. Two escape boards, two switches. We didn't find one. That's bit of a rip. Uh, it's not good that my opponent's going to lead in prizes. We can get Sledgehammer next turn, though. Which I guess is a good thing. Gonna pass. Unfortunately, we were not able to get the knockout this turn. We were close. We played an Electro Power. Choice Band. If we had Damage Mover, it would have been possible to knock him out. We just weren't able to get this Jirachi out of the active spot. That's so why sometimes, like, just having Jirachi in your deck is bad because, well, it's good, but it's bad because sometimes you just can never move it because you don't need that many. Like, if, if you're going with a heavy Jirachi, if you're playing, like, four or three Jirachis, you gotta play, like, three boards, two switches, escape ropes, and all that good stuff. With this deck, we don't play that many, and there's a Guzman. He's gonna knock out with my Spirit Tombs. No, he's actually targeting the Stun Fist. He can knock it out with Naganadel, or he's gonna go with Bolcephalon. Never mind. Okay, that's actually better. I, if you knock him out again, I would have been a little annoyed. It's Camelot with Blacephalon. So, how much can we do with Spirit Tomb? 90, 100, 160. Choice Ban. No, we can't knock him out with Spirit Tomb this turn. Oh, he doesn't even knock me out. That must have been a misclick. So now if we can hit a switch and a skateboard here. 
We're in a lot better of a spot. There's a shrine. I am going to slap that down. Yes, we'll play that. We'll probably attack him anyways if we can. Sure. I could actually build up for false swipe too. That would be hilarious. But yeah, I'll play that there. We'll go Erica. Yeah, sure, Erica. Alright, let's see if we can get there. No. Nope. We didn't get a switching card again. We're just not finding our switching cards today. We can just keep building up damage though, which is fine. Get ready for a spirit tomb sweep on Blacephalon. Go Electric Trap. And we hit it. Not bad. So we're going to get a nice chunk of damage. 150. Very close to killing him. If we had a damage mover, we would have knocked him out. Or an Electro Power. So that feels bad. But now he has 20 HP. So he's very weak. And if he does KO my Stun Fisk here, we do have um, a knockout on him. If he doesn't bump the Stadium, I can also try to go Stellar Wish for Guzma. And I can Guzma up Naganadel or something. Um, or I can goose him up the Poi Pull and just, like, knock him out with another Stun Fist. Just take three prizes in one turn. We have options. He's actually, yeah, he's going to retreat in the Gandel. He's get realizing the Gandel knockout's the right play. My question is, is he going to bump that Shrine? Because if not, that Blacephalon is looking very juicy to be KO'd going into my opponent's next turn. Alright, don't bump that Shrine. Whatever you do, do not bump the Shrine. Don't bump it. Don't do it, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. What did the shrine ever do to you? Ooh, a Mars Shadow. That's actually kind of bad. Rip. That's bad. We're gonna get a trash hand off this. No, we didn't. We still got the knockout on the stuff one if he does bump the shrine. We can also knock out one of the Mars. We can knock Mars Shadow with Building Spite or English Quai. The best another the stuff one here. I can also just bring that up and swing it. He didn't give us the worst hand, thankfully. He hit a Lily off that. You love to not see it. Mew coming down, that's fine. Alright, he did not bump the shrine, which means we're going to knock out the Blacephalon, which is pretty strong for us. So this is looking good. I think we're actually going to knock out that Mew. Mew side power can take out a spirit tomb. I don't like that. That's, that's me. There's an escape board. I mean, it came a little late. Just saying. So, what do we want to do here? We're not going to be able to get big cut turns. We can knock out the Mew with Raging Thunder. Which doesn't seem too bad, to be honest with you. Uh, okay, first, actually, I'm going to do this first. I'm gonna, I'd rather save the Rainbow Energy for Spirit Tomb. And we didn't hit an Energy. Never mind. No, we just knock about Raging Thunder, then. And get a damage on something else. One more Building Spite is all we need. You need to be a little careful, though, of, like, a stretcher Mew, so I'm actually not going to go too crazy on that. We'll knock out the Mew. Put damage on Jirachi. Or, actually, we'll put on Kartana, because Jirachi can get knocked out by turning point if I do that. Alright, we get two prizes here. There's a Cynthia. That's a good card to see. And he's probably going to go with another Plusephalon. He could go turning point again and knock me out that way. If he has a beast energy. He can't. He doesn't have his turning point turn quite yet. Yep. Knock out the Cephalon. Take another prize. DCE. Good to see. That Mew is very sketchy though. Because he can knock out two Spirit Tombs here. Or no he can't. No. We only have four. Never mind. We're good. I was going to say. He can knock out two Spirit Tombs. But yeah. I don't want to spam building Spite. Because I don't want him to get just Rack Moon Mew. He's probably got a Guzma here. He's probably gonna knock out one of these Spirit Tombs. He's gonna go Lele. Ooh, that's our win condition. We still have one of our other Guzmas, so our win condition is probably just knock out the tap of Lele then. Ultra Ball. Purple Cephalon. So he's probably gonna knock out either Kartana or Spirit Tomb with Naganadel. Which is tricky, but not the end of the world. As long as I don't have to deal with Mew again, I'm happy. And if he has to play Lele down, that's good. He's got a B-string. It'd be a big mistake for him to go with Blacephalon. I really hope he does go Mind Blown here, though. I'm not going to lie. If he Mind Blowns me, that's an easy two prizes for us. I really hope he actually does go with Mind Blown. Please don't just go with the easy 
the better play don't go Nagando please go mind blown he's gonna go Nagando there's like a pretty high chance that he's going to go with Nagando but if he goes mind blown you know what it'll make my day oh he's actually targeting Cartana yeah he's is he gonna go mind blown no he's not he's he's too smart so we're gonna have to knock out the Nagando then which is fine because we still have the game the win open up the win is ugh, can't talk to you. the win is still available we are doing 120 not that nest ball for our other spirit tomb to get a knockout here. And also just knock him out with Anguish Cry. But I'm gonna go for the building spite. I take the easy route out. Cynthia. Now we're looking for Goozy Guzma. Didn't get it. We did get electro power though. He does have his turning point turn though, which isn't great. And yeah, we electric drop him. Yep, yeah, seems good. All right, I don't know if Goose was surprised, but if it is, please, nope, switch, not helping. You can knock me out with another Nagando, so he still has his turning point turn. But at this point, we're just digging for Guzma. Straight up, if we get Guzma Stellar Wish, we win the game. We only have one left in the deck. This is going to be a little bit of a close game. These Nagandals are putting in a lot of work. And I'm still scared of Mew. Because he probably has one Rest Stretcher in his deck still. So he can come out of nowhere with a Mew. Does he have any Fires left? He's got eight in play. How many in the discard pile too? Oh, never mind. He's got tons left. Alright, KO's me. We might have to knock him out with Electric Trap. Now we're digging for Goozy Guzma here. Okay, let's see. Do, do, do. Intense moments are intense. Get rid of Lily and switch. Is it in the deck? Yes, it is. Alright, here we go. Guzma, and we win. Whew. Pretty good game against my opponent. Um, Mew is scary though. Wow. That Mew is scary to see. But we win. GG to my opponent. But yeah, any like Blacephalon I think is a pretty good matchup for us. Like Spirit Tomb and Stun Fist can both reach really good numbers on Blacephalon here, as you can see. Um So he has some decent matchups. Weezing's bad, obviously, for this deck. But that was a pretty good match, I would like to say. Matchups like that are really good. And yeah, pretty good game. And I think, did he have a stretcher? I'm really curious. Oh, he didn't. So yeah, that Mew was out of the game for good. Which is good because Mew is definitely scary for us because that attack can take multiple prizes on my Spirit Tombs, which would have made all the difference. Um, so stuff like Mew are scary. And this deck has a lot of weaknesses like Mew and Weezing. Coco is also kind of bad if you don't get your Mew down. All right, we'll open up this Plasma Storm pack real quick what do we get one here we go boom let's open it up what do we get inside of it I'm looking for reverse hole hip and talk laser no nope, that's not in the pack and we got a watch hog <laughs> that's not great all right well i'll see you guys in another match all right guys let's go do another match with the deck uh pretty good game there against blounds Pretty sure that's like one of your better matchups. Anyways, we'll see what we're up against next. Psychic. Could be tough. Giratina Malamar is an interesting matchup because like we're screwed if they have spell tags. Sky Scorching Light and Distortion Door are all actually really bad for us. There's actually a few decks that can really shut this deck down. Um Yeah, this is kind of one of those like weird decks you can play if you're expecting you know, play against a lot of GX decks, play the deck. If you're expecting a lot of um, spread archetypes like Giratina, don't play it. Might be a Giratina deck, and if it is, we have to be a little careful with our damage output. And to be honest, we don't have to do Building Spite every single turn. We are weak to uh, Ultra Necrozma, but I doubt my opponent plays it. Spirit Tomb is a good counter to Giratina too, so if he does end up putting damage on it, it's only going to help us in the long run, so we'll see. Alright, let's see what my opponent is playing here. It's not a Malamar deck. Ooh, very shocked. Um, there's a Lily. We will 100% take that. Uh, we'll Ultra Ball. If he's playing Lunala, which I'm like almost positive he is. Unfortunately for him, 
Spiritomb is a dark type, and what is Lunala weak to? I wonder, is it, is it weak to dark? Yes, it is. Alright, anyways, let's go Lily here for six. What do we find? We do find the escape board. We will slap that down. Go building spite. Building spite again. Do I retreat? I right, will DC you. It's gonna pass. We'll do damage mover next turn to Drachi, but I'm not worried about Sunfist doing that much. I'm honestly just. It's all gonna be on the Spirit Tomb to win the game. Spirit Tomb's gonna be how we win this. He's playing Lunala, right? You know, he's got a lot of big boys that are weak to dark. He's got a Tauros. We might be able to take down the Tauros this turn if he just goes into it and he's like, ah, I'm gonna go into Tauros. We have Buzzwool and we have Stunfist. And I think Stunfist can probably take down Tauros. It's, it's possible. We do. We can build up enough damage here, most likely. If we take out Tauros, we'll be gold. And we have Rainbow Energy. We don't prefer to put on Spirit Tomb and not put it on to a, another Pokemon. But if we have to reach high numbers, we might have to do it. Our opponent has a Lily. Not really worried about Lunala, though. With Spirit Tomb, it's no biggie. If he's playing Mew, though, I gotta worry. Because Mew is kind of hard to deal with because of that attack. As stated in that Blacephala matchup, Mew can pose a threat to us. Uh, did my opponent just not nest ball for anything? Or they did? I, I don't think they grabbed anything with nest ball. Yeah, there's an Oranguru coming down. That's fine. Let's see what else they get. Attached to Tauros. What else do they got? What else do they have? He's playing... If he is playing Lunala, it might be possible he's running one Giratina. I don't know. It's most likely just going to be like a Psychic Box deck, though. I'm trying to think of any Psychic Pokemon that can spread other than... Ooh, Espeon. Yeah, Espeon might be problematic for us. Espeon's definitely going to be problematic for us. Divide GX ain't nice to see. Alright. I think what we try and do here is knock out this uh, Tauros. Which it is possible to do. We'll play this. I'll Cynthia first. I don't want to attach an energy quite yet. And that is a knockout, I'm almost certain. Almost certain KO. Alright, we can just get another Buzzwool. And we'll get Stunfist. No, Buzzwool seems good though. Cartana wouldn't be bad either. Yeah, actually, let's get Cartana, because Cartana can attack next turn. Alright, we do have a knockout, because we can just slap Choice Man on. Or we can just do this Rainbow Energy. Uh, yeah, we'll play that down. He's not going to knock me out with Espeon next turn. So everything on the bench is damaged. That is 180, right? 30, 60, 90, 120, 150, 180 with Electro Power. Beautiful. Nice little knockout there. And next turn, we can try and knock out Eevee. Kind of wish we had Guzma. I'm starting to like three Guzmas because it would be nice to knock out that Espeon. Divide GX scares me. There's a Lily. There's a, another Electro Power. But yeah, we don't need to go all in with the Electro Powers, as you can see. It's not needed. My opponent's most likely actually going to hit me here with a side beam. That could be interesting because then I can't attack him potentially. We're not going to knock out the... Well, no, we can. Yeah, if we can... Oh, he's got nothing in the deck. Ooh, I was going to say because it is... Well, I guess he can evolve an Espeon in his hand. I was going to say we can actually knock out the EV, the Espeon here. If he has no side beam, we can choice ban boop. Side Beam will do damage to us. We'll already be heavily damaged, so it is actually possible to KO the Espeon here. There's an E-Switch. Probably going to go off the Eevee, move it on to the Cosmoem. Yeah, I'm not really worried about Lunala, though. Lunala can be dealt with. You could even maybe build up a Full Swipe Shrine play on a Lunala. That would be hilarious. I have not tried out Cartana Full Swipe yet. I might do a video on that, because there is B-String in the format, so it's possible to pull it off. There's a rare candy. He does have Lunar Fall if he wants. He can take out one of my Spirit Tombs. But again, we have two stretchers for a reason. Because Spirit Tomb, once again, is very much a target. Um, We're going to definitely keep building Spite. We need to get damage on my boys. 
that they can knock out that Lunala. Doesn't look like we're going to be able to get much action in with a uh, big cut, but that's fine. We can do false swipe. We'll choice ban one of these tombs just to burn it. I can do Raging Thunder here. Get an extra damage on a Spirit Tomb. Sure. I don't think I'm going to need any more Electro Powers. Lily for three. Got Counter G. Structure's really good. We'll knock, him out the, we'll knock him out with this. Get damage on a Spirit Tomb. Build it up for a Hustle Belt KO. And let's see what our prize is. Another Spirit Tomb. Beautiful. Looking good. Uh, we just need a rainbow energy for Spirit Tomb here. We're going to be in a better spot. It's a good thing we dealt with Eevee, though. Espeon is not something that I like seeing. Espeon's really scary. Espeon is very, very scary. <laughs> that Divide GX is, like, terrible. So it's a good thing we dealt with that. You might have another Espeon, though, coming very soon. But we can probably win the game. And then if we knock out this Lunala here, we're set in stone to win. Alright, let's see what my opponent's got in their hand. An Erika would be terrible. That would just give them an entirely new hand. They have an Energy Switch. Energy Switch with Lunala. I, I, I don't know really... I don't know why that's a thing in my opponent's deck. That's a very weird combo, but okay. Right, they can instruct for three. They can knock me out with Lunar Fall. They can knock out one of the Spirit Tombs, which is fine. I'm fine with swinging to Electric Trap. Doesn't even sound that bad either. Second Lunala coming down. Easy Guzma bait. You'll love to see it. Alright, so they're mostly going to Luna Fall here. They're either going to knock out Spirit Tomb with the Choice Band, or they're going to knock out Jirachi, possibly. Um, they could knock out Kartana, because again, if we get a DC, we can False Swipe Shrine KO them, too. So they might actually knock out the Kartana. But, they might knock out Spirit Tomb. Spirit Tomb would be more smarter for them, because he's weak to Dark. But he's actually going to move the energy. So if we hit into this thing, he's most likely just going to max potion it. But you can see why this deck is good against GX focused decks. As you can see, we're just kind of... We're just going to beat a GX focused deck. That's one of the things I like about this. Like, if you run into GX heavy decks, this deck can win games. Because GX focused decks, I don't think can really keep up. I think we just go for Electric Trap and just get some damage on him. We can two-shot him with Stun Fist, make him deal with that. I don't know why I didn't go for Lunar Fall there. But I'll take it. I'll take it. But yeah, as you can see, GX Focus decks should be good um, for this deck to beat. And as you can see, it's coming in clutch for us. Um, there's an Acro Bike. I'm still a little scared of Divide. Divide can knock out three Spirit Tombs here. Which is bad. We have Stretch in our hand. We can just get all of them back. And we have a Spirit Tomb in our hand. So it's not, we can recover after that, but like Divide would be terrible because it gives them half the prizes. Okay, there's an Ultra Ball. Did my opponent find energy? He's gonna get rid of a switch and a rare candy. Interesting. He's definitely gonna max potion this thing. I'm not worried about that. I'm not really worried about max potion right now. I think we're chilling. All we're really looking for is a rainbow energy. I want him to knock out Stun Fist because I want to go either Spirit Tomb or go for like a full swipe shrine play. That would be the most hilarious way to win. We also have that Hustle Bell play open. We can't use counter energy, so I might just play it. Yeah, it's probably best just to burn this. Probably should have attached it. Could Marshadow let loose me out of nowhere? That's a possibility. It looks like he's building up for Moon Guy's Beam. If he max potions and does it, and I don't find a rainbow interesting, because then I can't really go from there. If I can hit the shrine combo, I can false swipe him though. If we find a DCE. So we have a few outs to knocking this thing out. Either we go spirit tomb. You can also just hit him with another stun fist. But again, we're looking for DC or rainbow energy in order to knock him out. We'll see if we hit it. Our hand's pretty bloated. How many Cynthia's have we played? Just one. I wish that Lily was a Cynthia. We could play Erica for a couple cards. We can definitely put her hand down to play it. There's an XP share. No heal. No max potion for my opponent. Ain't helping their case that much. Yeah, it's the Moon Guys Beam for the knockout. So if we can knock him out with False Swipe, I'll be happy. Let's see if we get there. We're out of Electro Powers. I guess that's good to know. Alright. What do we draw? Another Jirachi. Alright, we're gonna play that down now. We're gonna play one of the Hustle Belts. We're gonna Stellar Wish. Ultra Ball, I will take that. We can thin our hand down. We'll get rid of the Counter G and the other Jirachi. 
We got Energy Lotto in the deck. Three rainbow or three DCs, two rainbows. Interesting. We're gonna have to go for an Erica for three. Alright, we got the rainbow. Perfect. And what we can do here, guys, is knock him out with with the good old anguish cry. And this is pretty clutch. Get more damage built up, why not? And uh, yeah, as you can see, we are going to knock him out here with the Hustle Belt, allowing us to hit 380 damage on a Lunology X. And at this point, I don't think my opponent can win. He's not even going to take a prize for knocking me out if he doesn't find a way to bump Black Market. So as you can see, Hustle Belt is low with Spirit Tomb. It's better when you can hit a better number. We're in for weakness. There's another rainbow, so we win the game here. If... The only way he can get out of this, he has to knock out all my Spirit Tombs. But I, I he's not going to be able to divide me this turn. It's pretty much impossible. The only way out is maybe like a Mew? But outside of that, I think we have game here. We have another Spirit Tomb ready to go. And uh, yeah, as you can see, Spirit Tomb is a good attacker. If he doesn't bump the stadium, he's not going to take a prize. We also can hit DC, False Swipe, Shrine, which could be pretty hilarious. But we have a lot of outs to winning this. The only way he could take a prize this turn is by switching to Tauros and going with a Horn Attack. If he does that, though, it's not helping his case because we could still probably win. That's not even a DC, so yeah. He has to, like, switch into Tauros to knock me out. Did he hit a switch? That'd be amazing if he did. He's already played an Escape Rope and a switch. He might be playing more than one of each. We'll see, though. If not, that'll wrap up the video. And yeah, it looks like that is game. We're just going to knock him out with Anguish Cry. 380 damage. Hustle Belt Spirit Tomb plays are coming in big. And that's going to wrap up the piece of video, guys. Stun Fist Spirit Tomb. The deck is really cool. Um, again, it is really weak to a lot of archetypes. A lot of decks are playing Mew right now. So the deck definitely is not perfect by any means however it does show some potential it's a hard hitting deck in a format with a lot of tag teams and we'll open up a pack in a format with a lot of tag teams and stuff uh, i think this deck does have some room to shine because you do have a lot of numbers you can hit um the deck is pretty fast it's scary i don't know it's kind of cool um but yeah that'll wrap the video for you guys if you enjoyed don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to have reaching 5k subs or 4700 subscribers if you have not subbed already um, and yeah, that'll wrap this video for you guys. Make sure to check out the sponsor, Card Cavern TCG, down in the description below. And of course, guys, as always, use code LDF for a 5% discount on your order. I'll see you guys in another PCJO video, guys. Have a good day. Bye-bye.